Guyana's 52nd Independent Celebration Unity Concert at the Brooklyn Museum Grounds. Where are you? Where are you? If you're present, represent. If you're present, represent. Represent. Sing out. From Guyana. Jamaica College Old Boys Association of New York STEM Leadership Forum. Jamaica. Jamaica. Coconut shrimp with a chipotle dipping sauce with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's In the Kitchen. I'm still in love with you, Marcy Aiken. Are you still going back into the studio? Yes, I have plans to go into the studio soon and I also have some shows coming up for the summer. As long as God give me the strength to go, I am going, going, gone. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Celebrate Guyana, our journey. The annual Guyanese Unity Concert is designed to bring international recording artists of Guyanese and Caribbean lineage together with local Guyanese artists to produce an evening of unforgettable entertainment for the young people and to promote unity and healing in the global Guyanese community and nation. My name is Courtney Noel, uh, popularly known as the Arrowhead Man, uh, or Courtney Arrowhead Noel, because of a song I wrote about Diana's flag, which is the Golden Arrowhead. Uh, this song became very popular, and some people refer to it as the unofficial anthem in Guyana. That's what they say, not me. Uh, but it's a wonderful, uh, it was a wonderful gift for me to be able to give a gift to uh, my country, singing a song about the, the national flag of Guyana. We're here today at the Unite Guyana concert, and this is a wonderful day for Guyana. We're celebrating 52 years as an independent nation, Guyana, uh, being independent from Britain, uh, 52 years. Now we're a young nation. But um, you're never too old to learn. So I take this opportunity whilst I'm here to interact with persons and, and, and soak up a bit of the New York culture. Guyana is located on the South American mainland. We're not an island. We're bordered to the east by Suriname, to the west by Venezuela, and to the southwest by Brazil. So we're the only English-speaking country on the entire continent of South America. There are nine Spanish, one French, one Dutch. Uh, one English and one Portuguese speaking nation in South America. I yeah. do sweet soca, I do natural soca, also I do the new style of soca we call bashment soca. Yeah man. Bash bashment soca, so elaborate a little bit on the bashment soca. Well you see bashment soca is mixed with a little bit of dance song and a little bit of sweet soca and a little bit of everything. Yeah man, so we have sounds like original Guyanese girl and she got the wine and let me come back. Or, you know, so it's like, it's more bouncy than the usual sweet soca, which is more groovy, like bamboo, bamboo fire mix, so, so yeah, man. It was 15 years since according, me and the sweetheart, we never yet wrote. So we wanted to celebrate my good luck, but I just didn't really know how. So I took her along to a restaurant, to give her a little treat. She told me she wasn't hungry, but just listen to the thing she eats. Well, yes, hi, hi, New York um, and the world at large. My name is Roger Hines, better known as Young Bill Rogers in the Calypso arena. I've been singing for the past 25 years. And, um, you know, I've won Calypso Monarch on two occasions, Chutney Monarch on two occasions. The first African guy needs to who have won Chutney Monarch on two occasions. I won many other competitions, Shanto Monarch, which is um, a unique Guyanese art form that was really originally started by my dad. Uh, Bill Rogers, um, senior who really was Augusta Science, he was a Shanto man 
Um, he was the first Guyanese recording artist, international recording artist, who did so much for Guyana. And, um, you know, the legend, he was a legend and icon in his own right, and the legacy now lives on. Um, I'm his son, and I'm following in his footsteps in terms of the legacy and keeping Shanto alive, keeping um, the whole art form of the musical art sequence alive. Um, so that's why I'm here. It brings a tingling into my heart to see so many Guyanese out here this morning supporting this parade in our 52nd independence anniversary. Guyana has come a long way since its independence and we still have a very long way to go. There are lots of hurdles and challenges and together as a nation with our motto is one people, one nation and one destiny. We will go through those challenges together and make Guyana a most, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. The Jamaica College Old Boys Association of New York, in association with the Consulate General of Jamaica, New York, held a STEM Leadership Forum to discuss the advancement of science and technology in the diaspora and Jamaica. Jamaica land we love. Jamaica, Jamaica. Robotics is fun, drones are fun, STEM is fun, and you have to show them how much fun it is. But when you talk about our female students, you have to make them know that they're as smart as the male students. You spoke about women in STEM. Explain to our, our, our viewers why is it important that we focus on our females in STEM? Well, you know, first of all, the technology age in STEM for, in general, the, te the demand for any careers in STEM, currently and in the future, we require our female workers. You know, women are just as smart as men. Um, we, we tend to dumb ourselves down sometimes, lack of confidence, but in order to fill that gap, we need to have women in STEM. We want to move our people from being just mere consumers of technology to become innovators of technology. So if you want to grow the economy, we have to develop that innovative capacity. I have the privilege of speaking with none other than Dr. the Honorable Andrew Wheatley, who is the Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, straight out of Jamaica. Out. How are you doing, Minister? I'm good, I'm good. Good to be here in New York. Absolutely. I know you have two full days here, you know, a lot of activities. But you just spoke at the, you know, the STEM event at, at, the, at the consulate. How important is STEM? from where you sit to the development of Jamaica? Well, let me just even go beyond just STEM. Um, to say that um, ICT um, is a critical pillar for economic growth and development. You know, Jamaica, for us to be able to stake our claim in, in the developing world that we're living in, we have to ensure that ICT is a critical pillar for growth. So this government recognizes the importance of ICT. And a critical um, component of ICT that we need to develop is the human capacity to be able to participate in that space. And so we are committed to building out a knowledge-based society, a society um, comprised of persons with the requisite skill and um, to, to, to grasp the opportunities that are coming, uh, making themselves available. And so STEM um, provides uh, an ideal opportunity for us to be able to train our young people, uh, developing that appreciation for STEM, the STEM subjects, and to be able to, to, to just participate in that sphere, in that ecosystem. We're going to build the best we can build physically, and then we're going to go out and be at the best programs to bring into that system. So if anybody has anything they want us to email to me, send it. Um, there are wonderful systems right throughout the world. I have no intention of sitting down 
and watching another set of Jamaican, another Jamaican generation go away. We ha if we're going to go anywhere, we're going to the top. Science, technology, engineering and math is very, very important. And you know, as, as adults, as young people, high schoolers, you know, there's, there's an emphasis on it. Why do you prefer, you know, to focus on early childhood? Because I think, um, I, th I think the former Minister of Education said, um, start them right and make them right. I think it, it was a very important year. That I think the experts said it's three to eight. It's the most important, critical time in a child's life for learning. And I don't think we paid enough attention to it. So our, our intention is to do whatever we can and to work with the government and, the, and whatever agencies that will afford us um, this good education system to, to try and make it happen in Jamaica. My sister is the STEM coordinator at the Ministry of Education. Oh, so I have wow. first-hand knowledge of what STEM is all about and her focus really in, in, in um, implementing STEMs in the, from the primary level. Right. So it is instructive that the, the, the female speaker um, spoke about women in STEM right. and they given young girls right. the opportunity to showcase their talents right. in the whole STEM program. We had individuals from various professions, you know, various sectors in the audience um, this evening. You don't necessarily have to be in the field of science, technology, engineering and math, but you learned. We learned so much today, didn't we? Um, what did you take away? What was your major takeaway from, from the forum? That the diaspora is doing a lot of work that we don't know about and more people from the diaspora need to get involved and to realize that we have to start somewhere. We can't just rely solely on the government to do everything for our children and our future in our future as Jamaicans. So we need to really invest in Jamaica. Right now you don't know that in the kitchen time no no. So what 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 the spice today? What are going on with the spice? Man, may I change up the game a little bit and may I go right now some appetizer and right now may I go do some coconut shrimp. Yeah. May I go serve it with a wonderful chipotle sauce and it's gonna be so crazy because I'm gonna use it also one of my one of my brand that I like. May I look for a red stripe beer, but yeah. you know what? a red stripe beer in the day. So yeah. may I go, go on with the corona and All may right. put it together and it's gonna be so nice. Coconut shrimp in the kitchen, Ziggy Bless, don't get it twisted. All right, guys, you're done know already. Like I said, we're going to be doing a coconut shrimp. Real simple, real easy. And this is something where if you're home and you want to do something different, you want to make something special for the lady. Or ladies, you want to make something for the guy working hard and he's coming home. This is something different from the typical Jamaican food. Change it up a little bit. So we're going to do some coconut shrimp, and the batter is going to be a beer batter. So the ingredients that you need, all the ingredients is online, but I have here the ingredients. You have your coconut, you have your liquid egg, you have your flour, and you have your 1620 PND. You have your Cajun season, your black pepper, garlic powder, Old Bay, paprika, and your salt. And you have your Corona. You can use any other beer that you want to use. You can use Red Stripe, you can use Heineken, but I'm going to go with a Corona. All right? Simple. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to make our batter, our beer batter. Real easy, you're gonna go with your flour. You're gonna put your flour in. I'm putting about probably two cups, two cups of flour. And now you're gonna go with your Cajun season because I wanna give it a nice flavor. All right, that's about a teaspoon of black pepper. Another teaspoon. And we're gonna go with our salt, about a teaspoon too. And we're gonna go with our garlic powder another teaspoon then we're gonna go with our obey season another teaspoon and our paprika all right another teaspoon simple and easy we're gonna mix this up real good mix them up real nice and then now we're gonna go with our beer you're gonna pour your beer in and you want to control the thickness of it so don't pour all the beer in at once you pour and you watch it as you go along and you pour a little bit more and you watch as you go along all right i can pour everything in and i'm still good nice you want a nice 
rich consistency, kind of like this is what you shoot it for. Let me add a little bit of water to it because not too much because you want the shrimp to be able to stick on him real good. All right, that's the consistency that you're shooting for. Another thing too that you can do, you can take a little bit of flour and you can coat the shrimp. That will help the batter to stick onto the shrimp a little bit more easier. And now we're gonna take our batter, bring it over here a little bit closer. And now we're gonna dip the batter, dip the shrimp inside the batter. And we're gonna come right over to the coconut and just drop them. Dip. Come right over to the coconut and drop them. See, you wanna shake it off a little bit cause you don't want too much. You don't want too much get on the shrimp. Take my coconut and I'm gonna sprinkle my coconut over the shrimp. I don't want it too much aggravate the shrimp, so I'm not gonna like take them up and toss them over and do all of that. I'm just gonna sprinkle the coconut over it again and make him real, look real good. Then I'm gonna take up the shrimp, have my plate ready, put them right here on the plate. See, looking real good. And if you look, you can see they're well coated, well coated with a coconut. And you can just imagine when you bite into these bad boy, how juicy and flavorful they're gonna be. I'm gonna drop my shrimp into it. First, you're gonna check to see how hot is the oil and you drop your shrimp in nicely. And let them fry for probably about a minute and then you flip them over. You flip them over on one side and you flip them over again. Nice. You, want them, you don't want them, you gotta be careful. You don't want them to color too fast. So you just flip them over a little bit. Beautiful, nice color, see? You get it a nice golden brown, and that's what you shoot it for. All right guys, you see how simple that was, and you see how easy I put it together. Now we're down to the finishing, and you know this is what I like to do, the presentation. So I'm gonna make this presentation real simple, and I'm gonna go with my aged balsamic, and I'm just gonna do a twirl around, simple. Then I'm gonna go with my chipotle dipping sauce that's gonna be right in the middle, like this. And as you know me already, I'm all about flavor. I want things to have flavor. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper flakes right in the middle of the chipotle. Keep them looking real sexy. And look at these shrimp. Look how pretty these bad boy look. Simple. I'm gonna let it sit right inside the chipotle. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're like, oh my God, I can't wait till I bite into that. I'm keeping this simple and easy and classy. Then I'm gonna finish them off with a little bit of dill. Just kind of drizzle right on the top of it just to make this presentation, give it that little final touch. And that's it right there. That's your coconut shrimp with your chipotle sauce and your aged balsamic reduction. Don't get it twisted, you're the inner the kitchen. Martha Aiken is a reggae singer best known for her recordings in the late 1970s. She got her break into the music industry while she was still a student at Excelsior High School. That song, I'm Still Loving You Boy, right? I'm still in love with you boy. That song is my, ma my mantra. That song I did like almost 40 years ago when I was in high school in Jamaica, going to Excelsior High School. And I used to do a lot of concerts at school, so I got discovered, quote unquote, 
on the stage at my high school and then started doing recording and this was the recording that not I chose the song but the producer Joe Gibbs Records okay. and I did the did the song so it was a did it did you know number one right. in Jamaica in Europe and it did well in the UK too because I came to America on a couple of tours and nice. way back in 70 something so nice. did very well for you. yes always a good song not so well as the producer you know but yeah. That's another, that's for another time. <laughs> Recently, I think JC and Beyonce, they also use oh, that song also, right? Oh, yeah, Talk a little bit about that. Girl. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's, that's my sweet. I love, I love that girl. She's a icon. She's a woman, a strong black woman also, even though she might be light skinned, but she's a strong black woman. And you know i just love her and i'm so honored and glad that she did that after all this time and that song you could say it's an old song and she chose she chose to use it for her t world tour that's a good thing nothing bad about that musical wise now for martha you know are you still going back into the studio yes i have plans to go into the studio soon and i also have some shows coming up for the summer as long as god give me the strength to go i am going going gone Music Band presents on Friday, August 3rd. It's a Jamaica free independent band inside the Amazura. It's Lincoln Band in a Robodob style. Friday, August 3rd, inside the Amazura. General Street. Get your tickets early. Get your tickets today. In a robot dog style. Doors open at 8 p.m. Music provided by Bakawal University. Your life on the crew. Special inviting guests. Every foundation with crazy rich. For more information and tickets, call your life at 347-546-2264. It all happens Friday, August 3rd in San Diego. We're taking it back to the original. Dance style style. In a robot dog style. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. I'm still in love with you, boy. Well, I'm a hustler oh, yeah. and a player, and you know I'm not a stayer. That's a dirty, dirty love. I'm still in love with you, boy. So, girl, I try to understand. The man is just a man. That